In this video, I want to give you a quick introduction for solving and graphing systems of linear inequalities. So here we have a system. The first inequality is y is greater than or equal to 2 thirds x plus 1. And the second inequality is y is less than negative x minus 4. So you'll see that each of these is already in slope intercept form. So all we have to do is grab the y intercept for our starting points and the slope for our rate of change, and we can easily graph the lines. And then, since it's a system of inequalities, we'll actually be shading a portion of this graph. So let's go ahead and start with our first line. So we have y is greater than or equal to 2 thirds x plus 1. So in order to graph these uh, linear inequalities, we kind of need four pieces of information. The first one is the slope and the slope in this case is 2 thirds. The second piece of information is the B value or the Y intercept and that's 1. So let's go ahead and mark this. So we're going to start here at positive 1 for our Y intercept and then our slope or our rate of change is positive 2 thirds. So up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3, or, of course, we can go down 2 and back 3, down 2 and back 3. And one thing also to notice, and this is kind of the number 3 spot here, is, is this line going to be dashed or is this line going to be solid? Well, this is y is greater than or equal to, so since it's equal to, our line will be a solid line, which indicates that that boundary line that we're drawing here is included in the solution set. So that'll be a solid line. And the fourth one will be, are we going to shade above the line or are we going to shade below the line? And since y is greater than this 2 thirds x plus 1, we'll actually be shading above the line. So I'm going to go ahead and indicate both of those things with little drawings here. So since it's a solid line, I'm going to go ahead and grab a handy dandy straight edge here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that line. And it's going to be solid. So here we go all the way down, just like that. And I'm going to draw my line just beyond the boundaries of the graph. And I'm going to put little arrows on the end there. Okay, so there's the first inequality, and uh, I'm going to worry about the shading here after I have the other line done as well. Okay, so the other one is y is less than negative x minus 4. So these four pieces of information, well, the first one, what's the slope? It looks like negative 1, or we could say negative 1 over 1. Our y-intercept will be negative 4. And this one's going to be a dashed line because y is less than, but not equal to. It's just less than. So that means that this boundary line will not be included in the solution set. And the fourth one, are we going to shade above or below? This is y is less than, so we'll shade below. Okay, so using this information, let's go ahead and graph this. We're going to start at negative 4. And our slope is negative 1, so negative 1 over 1 negative 1 over 1, or of course, up 1 and back 1. And that point is already there for us. So there we go. So once again, let me grab my handy dandy straight edge, and I'll draw a dashed line now. I'm going to go ahead and turn this to make it easier. Okay, so line it all up, and dashed line. Okie dokie. So I drew my line past the boundaries of the graph, and I'm going to go ahead and put arrows on it. So it looks like my graph here has been divided into four regions. And it divided, the solid line divided it into these two and these two here, and then my dashed line, these two and these two. So let's go ahead and figure out which of these regions, or region, that we're going to shade. So for my solid line, I'm going to shade above because y is greater than. So it's either going to be this region or this region. And for my dashed line, it says y is less than, so below. So it'll either be this region or this region. And of course, we can see where the two x's are, and we're going to actually be shading in that region. So here will be the solution set for this system of linear 
inequalities. In this second and final example, I have this system of linear inequalities, and I'm going to do the same thing. Graph it and find out the solution set, or the region that I'm going to shade. All right, well, neither one of these is in slope-intercept form already, so in order to graph it easily, let's go ahead and put them both in slope-intercept form. I notice that I'm actually missing a y here. This is x plus 2 is greater than 0, which means without a y, this is just going to be a vertical line. So I can say subtracting 2 from both sides gives me x is greater than negative 2. So it's a vertical line at x equals negative 2, and it's going to be dashed because x is greater than negative 2 but not equal to. So since it's only greater than and not equal to, the line itself, the boundary, will not be included in the solution set. So let's go ahead and draw that line in. It's going to be dashed and vertical. Okay, so there's our line. I drew the line just past the boundaries of the graph, and now I'm going to put arrows on either side. Okay, so let's go ahead and do now the second one. So I have negative 5x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 6. So solving for y, I'll need to add 5x first to both sides. So negative 2y is greater than or equal to 5x plus 6. And when I divide every single term by negative 2, I notice that I'm dividing by a negative, so I'll need to flip the sign of the inequality, and I have to do that because I'm dividing by a negative, and I end up with negative 5 halves x minus 3. Well, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at the four pieces of information I need for this. So the first one is the slope, and it looks like it's going to be negative 5 halves don't need the x in there. So the second one is going to be what's the y-intercept, and that's going to be negative 3. And the third one is this a dashed line or a solid line, and its y is less than or equal to, so it will be a solid line because the boundary line will be included in the solution set. And the fourth and final one, are we going to shade above or below? y is less than, so we're going to shade below. Okay, so why didn't we discuss the shading above or below with this vertical line? Well, we're actually only shading to the right or the left, since the vertical line divides it into two pieces that are side by side, left and right. Okay, so x was greater than negative 2, which means I'm going to end up shading on the right side, the, the larger side. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish graphing this line. So we're going to start at negative 3, and my slope is negative 5 halves, so I can't go down 5 because I'm out of graph, but I can go up 5 and back 2, and I can't do it again because, again, I run out of graph. So let's grab my handy-dandy straight edge, and this is going to be a solid line, so I'm going to turn it just a little bit, and here we go. So once again, I drew my line just beyond the boundaries of the graph, and there's my arrows on the end as well, indicating that these are lines that go on forever and ever. Okay, so I'm going to shade, we know, below this line. So below that line is either going to be in this region or this region. And since x is greater than negative 2, I'm shading in this region or this region. And of course, we see where the two x's are. So I will be shading in this lower region here. And there we go. So there's the solution set then for this system of linear inequalities, which of course means that any ordered pair in this region will be a solution, but any ordered pair outside the region will not be a solution.